Okay, Whirlpool appliance number one. Uh, we spent a lot of money with Whirlpool in our kitchen here. Uh, we just did this whole kitchen, uh, brand new apartment that we built um, on the building here. This was the first problem that we had. About a week after getting the stove, it would get this air, e E1, uh, F2, E1. It's supposed to be like a loose, either a stuck key on the keyboard or the connection for the keypad is bad. We didn't initially call Whirlpool right away on it because the stove works. So we didn't think it, you know, it's just an air. You can uh, reset it and it goes away. And it comes on a couple times a day, but it never stops. Even with the air on there, the stove, the stove top works. Well, we went to use the oven and then we realized the oven is controlled by the computer in here. This will not work with this air. You can clear the air, the oven will go to light and it instantly goes out. Uh, you can't use the oven. So we contacted Whirlpool to get this fixed. Um, it's been months, not fixed. This was the first thing that went out was our refrigerator. Whirlpool, this was not an inexpensive refrigerator, uh, around $3,000. We actually owned the same, uh, the same refrigerator, at a, but an earlier model. I used different refrigerant um, about five years ago. Same color, this kind of black stainless finish on it. Uh, it's the same fridge, but just modern technology is in this one. It's an upgraded version of it. Never had any problems with it. We spent a lot of money with Whirlpool over the years. Been very, very happy with them. This thing broke. It took over a month to get a repair technician to come out here and look at it. And now it's been broken for three months that it's been sitting here inoperable. A brand new appliance that you pay that much money for. Inoperable. I mean, we have, and we have, you know, the microwave. We have the dishwasher. We bought the whole suite Whirlpool. We were happy with Whirlpool, uh, and I'm not even upset that the stuff is broken. Uh, that happens, things break. My, my biggest complaint is our customer service on trying to get something fixed. Today is Thanksgiving day, and we do not have a working oven, thanks to Whirlpool. We do not have a working refrigerator, thanks to Whirlpool. Over three months waiting to get a refrigerator repaired is absolutely unacceptable on a brand new appliance. Uh, you know, it's covered under warranty, they're supposed to fix it, be out here right away, take care of it, nothing. Replace it, send us a different one. Thanksgiving day with no oven and no refrigerator, we had to go out and buy a small refrigerator, a cheap $400 different brand, uh, bought it at uh, Lowe's, just to have a refrigerator because three months you can't live without it. You know, first we had a mini fridge, a small little, like a, it's about the size of the cabinet down there that we tried to save our stuff keep our food in, you know, they'll be out here in a week, we'll get it fixed. No, uh, after realizing it was gonna take months, uh, at first I thought it was just gonna be a month and I'm like, I gotta go out and buy a fridge, we have to have a refrigerator. So we go out and buy this really expensive Whirlpool, it breaks, and then I gotta go out and buy a cheap refrigerator. It's crazy. Uh, again, I've been a lifelong customer of Whirlpool. Now Whirlpool owns other brands. Uh, I will not own any of their brands, of the other brands that they have. So I, uh, I'm gonna, you know, they, they totally lost me as a customer and I've been a very good customer of theirs. We redid our house before we sold it, like I said, like five years ago, all new Whirlpool appliances in there, the whole suite, basically the exact same thing, same stove, same refrigerator, just the earlier version of it, same dishwasher. Uh, the only thing on that we didn't do was the microwave, but this stuff was not cheap. This is not inexpensive stuff. Things break, I get it. I, I, I make a living repairing stuff. Not being able to come out and repair something that's brand new and making customers wait months and months and months. They're more concerned about other things than taking care of the customers who already spent their money with them. So Whirlpool, thanks for uh, this wonderful Thanksgiving with no oven and no refrigerator in our first official Thanksgiving here in our home.